Hey guys, Brett at 9mm USA here, and this is going to be a review of the Dan Wesson Point Man Carry, or PMC 1911. Comes in the Dan Wesson box. And there it is. This particular 1911 is more of a self-defense size. They also make it in 9mm. The particular version you see in front of you is chambered in 45 ACP. And we shot 250 rounds during the review of Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition. And this 1911 did fantastic. You did have one uh, problem with it, right, young brother? I think I had one or two. I just have problems shooting the uh, smaller 1911 sometimes. It is what it is. As we all know, Dan Wesson's are top quality, more of along the lines of a semi-custom 1911. They're all hand-fitted and hand-put together, and all the parts on them are forged. There are no MIM or cast parts in these Dan Wesson 1911s. The ammo is supplied by Elite Performance Ammunition from Sig Sauer. This is their 45 ACP ammo, 230 grain, traveling at 850 feet per second and 369 foot-pounds. Point Man Carry here comes in at 36.7 ounces. It is an all steel 1911. There is no alloy frame or anything like that. It's a forged frame made of steel. So you could have years and years of shooting with this 1911. It's made to take the abuse. These 1911s from Dan Wesson are very tight on the frame to slide fit. very precisely machined and hand fitted everything you've come to expect from Dan Wesson just beautifully fit and blended even the high-rise beaver tail here look at that perfection right there very nice the slide frame looks fantastic too. Show that. Almost looks like one piece of steel. The frame's magwell has a slight beveling to make magazine insertion a little easier. You can see that there. It's not huge, but it does work. Alright guys, this is a full-size mag. It's a Cobra mag. On the compact, it's going to stick out a little bit like that. This 1911 has a 25 lines per inch checkered mainspring housing that as you can see has a bit of a rounded butt to it. Really finishes off the pistol very well in the back there and makes it easier for concealed carry because it's not a square cut. And the serrations on the mainspring really do help lock the pistol in really good. That combined with the front strap being 25 lines per inch checkering also. And look at that, look at how well done it is. No overruns at all at the top here, just very precisely machined. Top quality. Wouldn't expect anything less from Dan Wesson. Hundred percent reliable. Pretty fast. No. Yep. Okay, let's try a ten round Cobra mag.
this PMC comes with a very tight and responsive full-size safety from Dan Wesson. It's made for right-handers. Sorry, lefties. Nothing over there for you. But just listen to that. Excellence, man. I just love it. Just top quality. Yeah. Speaking of quality, it is a Series 70 1911. Still kind of dirty from the range trip. But you can tell it's a Series 70 right there. Trip Research Cobra Mag. Officer size 7 rounder. And the Dan Wesson Point Man carry. The PMC comes with this excellent tactical forged hammer, which has some serrations right there on top. What that's for is so you can reach up and cock it back with your thumb. It's great. Eight rounder. Couple other things I wanted to mention on the uh, Dan Wesson PMC. It does come with a match grade barrel. So you don't have to pay anything more to get that match grade barrel from Dan Wesson. You can also tell that the Dan Wesson comes with a recessed crown on the barrel from the front here. Let's talk about the finish on the PMC real quick. The flats are all a brushed stainless, very attractive, very well done. Does not look like a bunch of scratches, which I've seen in other brushed stainless looks of other manufacturers. The entire top of the slide is sandblasted to make it an anti-glare finish for the shooter that carries on on the frame of this 1911. So all the rounded edges are sandblasted. Just a beautiful look for this 1911 from Dan Wilson. It's definitely a very high quality finish. 10 rounder. Got it to feed. Stock Dan Wesson mag. The PMC also has a slight undercut behind the trigger well here. Make it a little bit more comfortable for you to grip this 1911. It also comes with double diamond Coco Bolo wood grips. So these are real wood grips. Quite effective. I have a couple of them with these grips and they're great. Do a good job. I don't see any reason to replace them. And they're very attractive.
shots are pretty easy with this. That red fiber optic sight really stands out. I don't have any problems with it. Runs like a top. The trigger itself is rated at four pounds. It's a medium solid stainless steel trigger. You can tell it really doesn't have any movement. Really excellent trigger. Right there, a little bit of pressure, and it just falls. Reset. It kind of kicks your finger right to the reset. And you're at the wall. Very nice trigger. Some folks will want it to be at three and a half pounds. It's more at four pounds. For me, I kind of like them at 3.75 to four. So it's great for me. I really like the way it feels when I shoot it. it just feels really good. single hand. Perfect. The sights that come on this point man carry is a red fiber optic front sight and a Novak style rear serrated sight that has a nice ledge on it for you to be able to rack it off with something. All right guys our shooting day is about over. I couldn't help but to circle back to the PM Compact and 45 ACP. I just want to put a few rounds of V-Crown hollow point from six hour elite performance through it. 230 grain. At the end of our day here. Showing the brass back at me. Just probably break in. Yeah. It's run flawlessly though, right? Did you have one hiccup? I had a problem with a uh, full size 10 round mag, I believe. Okay. It's ran fantastic yeah. on all the officer size mags. Yeah. And I can tell a difference. I shot a couple other officers, uh, 45 ACPs today. You can definitely tell this one seems a little bit tighter, a little bit uh, better made, which is something we think of the Dan Wesson 1911s, right? One more mag of practice rounds. The Point Man Carry 1911 comes with these two very high quality seven round officer size Dan Wesson 1911 magazines. If you're interested in this Point Man Carry from Dan Wesson, it has an MSRP of 1597. Check prices at your local gun dealer to see what they can get it for. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you're interested in this Dan Wesson 1911 or anything else available from Dan Wesson, go ahead and check out their products and website via the links in the description box below this review video. As always, everyone, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Beretta 9mm USA, and support us on Patreon for more guns and gear videos like this in the future.